All right, today we're gonna to show you what to do with a 15 pound prime rib. Stay tuned. Today we are going to make a prime rib and it's going to be done by Steve and Garrett which are pros at doing this. They use, it's a simple harsh, harsh radish cream, salt, pepper, and they're going to tie it with some string. And we're going to come back to you and show you how we do it. Okay, now Steve's going to put the harsh radish on it, sauce. Can help with this or what? No. <laughs> And look how Garrett, Garrett's so good, he can turn a, a pepper shaker. <laughs> That's, uh, again, using the cracked peppercorn, black pepper, peppercorn. And this is so good. What this coating's going to do is season the outside and help seal all the juices on the inside as it goes on the rotisserie on the grill. Kim, can I have you use some of the salt? Ooh. Like this? Oh. Yeah, just, yeah no, Kim, no, can you help our just, special just guest? The whole thing. Uh, you sure? I don't yep. want to. Put her on. That's what I'm always Put her saying. on. Come on, Kim. You know you don't make Put her on. There you go, Kim. Pepper still? I yep. like it. Yeah. Keep Can going. Keep going. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you got to season your meat, here. people. You have to season your meat. Is that good? Okay, that's good for right now. Your hands are going to taste good later, Dad. I get the butt piece is the best. Ready to flip. Then you turned it over, and now we're going to do the other side. Okay. Use very generously. That's yeah. right. The more the merrier. A lot of it's going to drip off, melt off, hopefully not Ooh, burn off. It makes like a little crust thing. It's so good. Yep. That looks yummy. That looks yummy to me. Good. I'm glad to hear that. You're better than my cousins. Hey, okay, Kim. All right. Put her on. Pepper garnish. Oh. <laughs> It'll make any difference. Like I said, most of this all, I mean, it's got it going on to a lot of meat, so. Yeah. Yep. Maybe a little more hard work, I think. That's looking nice oh. and pretty. I think it'd be a cute idea to put it on a little stick or something like a steak and get it somewhere. Oh. Or like even <laughs> Sorry. Like That's fine. <laughs> it won't go to waste. Paint there or something up on top, you know. And when you're done, you can lick your fingers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Put some more salt on the missing it. Oh, the more salt? Yeah. Short hand. Is it just called clear coat? Mm hmm. It's just a clear okay. sealer. Okay. I'm learning to make. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get our rotisserie spear. I got to wipe my, of course, my hands first. Put yep. this thing on. So, we're going to come back. And get get it all. And show you how it's done. Ready to go for the grill. Don't watch your fingers. I oh, know. I'm trying to get so it stays in place for you. Here. Yeah. It's going right underneath my fingers. This is good. It's good. I got the sides. Sure. I got yeah. the sides. Go ahead. It's underneath my fingers. I felt it. 
There you go, it came out in the middle. Keep on going. Very nice, yep. very nice. Yum. You yeah. 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 Yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, yum, yum, yum. I don't know, we just stuff, stuff, the same way because of the way the roast is. The rock fingers are thin prints. Very nice. So there we go. Now we go over to the grill. Today we're we'll cooking on the Weber Spirit. We have two of them here at the resort, the Black Hole Resort, Washington State. It's in. Okay, All right, let's, let's take a look. So we're hooked in on this side. The electric rotisserie over here on this side. Got a little drip pan there. Got three burners down there. Sure we'll see if this 15 pounder is going to be too big for the grill. Is it another one? Oh, it's on. Oh, back here. Oh, yeah, turn on that switch. This is the Weber grill. Very nice grill. There it goes. Almost 20 pounds, I think, yeah. It? Kind of, I mean, hit a little bit. So what we're going to do down. is we're going to put this on about, uh, what, about 250, 300 hey, degrees? Yeah. We're going to let it cook for three and a half to four hours. <laughs> so we'll come back later after we've uh, started. Catch you just a little bit right there. All right, we're doing an update on the prime rib. Season it up a little more. It's been on one hour. Getting a nice cooked look on it. Nice bronze. These rotisseries are really nice. So we're making good progress. So one hour down, about three hours left. Okay, it's been about two and a half hours on the prime rib. Let's take a look at it, Steve. Bam! Look at that. Woo -hoo. Two and a half hours at 300 degrees, plus or minus. We've been slowly sucking off the grease on the bottom so it doesn't flare up. So the catch pan's doing its job. So right now, two and a half hours. About an hour to go. We'll test it. But I think it's going to go about an hour and a half because she's thick. So, just giving you an update. Alright, let's take this uh, prime rib off. It's been on for four hours. We got to 135 degrees during the center and 150 degrees on the outside. This was at 300 degrees plus or minus temperature. Eight months later, I'm doing the same set of racks again because I'm changing the We are going to see what this bad boy looks like. Mm -mm -mm. That looks good. All right, we're going to cut all the twine off, strings off, or whatever to unleash this beast. First thing you need to do is get somebody with a sharp knife. I don't know what it's like. There you go. Got it going on. I'm just going to go for it. No, I'll hold it down for you. They're up. Uh, excuse me, sir. We're filming here live on YouTube. <laughs> That's Joe Black, the owner of the Black Hole Resort. Birthday <laughs> boy. Raising the roof. Raising the roof. There's a secret behind the Black Hole Resort. We're not going to go into it right now. Okay. Throw all the strings on there. Yeah. All right. This is this is just Joe, owner and president of the Black Hole Resort. Cutting his finger off. Cutting off knob, doing the taste test, making yeah, sure it's okay. It for, all right, whack attack. Whack that sucker off. Wait for a fork. Just start cutting? Start cutting. All right. You're the boss. Act like you've done this before. You're the producer. You guys are dangerous. 
Look at this right here, folks. This right here is going to feed 50. That's the, that's the rear end. Oh, that's yeah. The end. That's Garrett. There's going to be fight for the ends. I know there will be. So on the end of the prime rib is going to be the most well done. The closer you get to the center, the more rare. That's where I need to be. I don't even take pictures. When do the guests start eating? As soon as you get out of the way. As soon as you get done cutting. Well, so somebody better come and start eating, I think. Because <laughs> this will cool off fast, though. This electric knife makes you cut pretty thin. Yeah, we got to cut it thin. We've got a lot of people to feed. So we got to have some people just show up because this is going to be so good. So much food, it has to be. I don't think you want them real thick because nobody's going to eat them. Oh, you want Yeah, you want thin. Ooh, those are going to be good pieces right there. Look at that. I hope it's showing up on old GP. Kind of pink in the middle. Should be getting to the little rare spot right now in the center. That was 135 degrees. So here we are cooking with Kim outdoors at the Black Hole Resort, Eastern Washington. Have a little prime rib, jalapeno poppers, the potatoes and good family. Hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe and share. Comment below, thumbs up please. Look at that right there. That's perfect right there in the center. Mm -mm -mm. See you next time. <laughs>